Well, okay, this is Art Studio 8. I'm just going to turn this projector on. Um, there we go. Uh, you can see here that I've printed something out on a transparency and put it on the overhead projector. And now um, we've got this area that we're going to uh, copy with uh, just one of these little black um, charcoal pencils. Um, this is, yeah, Art Studio number eight, and um, I'll just show you a little bit of what I'm doing here, and then we'll move on to the next thing. So I've got two cameras set up here, and I've got a new little roadie mic that someone sold to me cheaply, a young Brocky, which is very handy, and we'll see how we go. The trick is, obviously, with shadow on you, you've got to be careful how you do this. Uh, this is really just a uh, a random set of shapes that I took uh, a picture of a photo of a uh, of one of the local mountains. Then I um, uh, vectorized it, then broke it into various uh, shapes, and then put those shapes. Um, on the screen into a square format, which is this is square, and then printed it out, and then I'm projecting it onto here. So it really is um, shapes that I didn't come up with. I had no real control over it. The software did it, and now I've just randomised them onto the screen. So it'll be interesting to see how it comes up. This idea. You can see it's a bit uh, laborious, but it actually works well. You can actually get a good representation of things. You've just got to be careful how you do it. All right, I'll show you a close-up of what I'm doing as well. Okay, this is a close-up of what I'm doing. I'm hoping it's in focus. Still playing around with camera settings. So we just follow those lines through. Obviously I've got the uh, transparency um, stuck down so that it won't move. Tricking, trickies, of course, is to hold your breath. <laughs> so I'll get that all covered, and then you'll see the process of it. Then I'll colour it in some sort of way. So. Um, work out what sort of technique I'm going to uh, use. Um, I'll also uh, probably show you a little bit of the process um, of uh, how I, I come to this. All right, that's good. Well, I'm almost finished this. Um, it's a bit hard to know where to stand with all these lights and cameras. Anyway, uh, it's, it's not that tedious, it's actually quite enjoyable, except I get a bit of soreness in my hand from holding small things like this. But I've only got a little bit to do there, and um, one of the things I did look at while I was uh, working this out um, was I looked at a couple of documentaries on Matisse. Um, some of this reminded of Matisse, and uh, where he's got the cut out pieces of paper and he puts that down. So it, it's got a uh, calligraphy type of feel to it. Um, as for the colour schemes, he did a lot of bright colours. I haven't decided what to do with that yet and how I'm going to represent this as a landscape, uh, although a very abstract landscape. So we'll see what happens. I'll show you when I finish with all the lights off and you can have a look then. Well, I've got the house lights on now and you can see I've completed it. 
and didn't take very long at all. Now I've turned the projector off and uh, the whole idea of this is process. So what I'm doing is starting with a photograph, breaking it up into pieces, exploding those pieces up and you know by zooming into them and pasting them over a square design. Um, after this it'll be a process of how I'm going to work at colours and schemes and things like that. This is uh, part of a series of square landscapes that are all uh, 120 centimetres by 120 centimetres in size. I think I'm up to like 10 or 11 or something like that and um, we'll see how that goes. So that's probably it but I may show you if I get a chance um, to do a little bit of editing show you how I got to this process here before I projected it. Um, anyway that's it right for the moment. Okay, you can see here I've loaded an image of a mountain, uh, which is just outside of my place. And then we're going to convert that image um, into a series of shapes. And I'm just going to do it in grey, uh, series of greys. So, you know, I don't have to worry about colours or anything like that. Just did a few settings there. And then I'll insert that. Um, there it generates an image and it will bring it into the main image now and now the landscape has just become a whole series of shapes now zoom up on it so you can see and here are the individual shapes that make up that whole image now uh, when I did the original one I generated a more complex um, image with more complex shapes. Uh, I would have showed you that but it's it's got 44,000 shapes in it so um, it has a tendency to crash the computer if I get too fiddly with it so I created a simpler one here. And So you see I've just cut and pasted one of the shapes onto a white blank page which is how I did the other one. I'll just do that again. It's amazing the uh, software that you can get nowadays. It's just amazing things you can do with it. Um, I'm, I'm sort of using this in an unusual way, but the series of paintings that I've uh, that this is a part of, uh, the squarescape paintings, is all about generating ideas, working at different processes, and coming up with different ideas, just in a fun way, trying not to be overly serious about it, but just enjoying the process. I was actually going to work this painting in a different way um, but I just come across this playing around with the uh, software and I thought okay I'll do this. Uh, here I just fiddle around a bit trying to get some outlines, forgetting how to use the software a little bit <laughs> but anyway I get there eventually. So we put some outlines uh, around those shapes and then I um, just in increase the line thickness there so that we get a more substantial sort of shape there. And that's how I built up the images. So here you can see the uh, the one that I've got in the video, uh, which I projected after printing it onto clear film and putting it on that old style overhead projector. Uh, then I just uh, I just cropped the edges off. That's it.